Today, we hike about 7.5 miles of six-hour walking through Alp de Siusi, the largest grassland in Europe. We climb Denti di Terrarosa Pass, view the panorama of the majestic mountain ranges of the Dolomites. From the village of Campaccio, we fly over the meadow by lift and arrive at the Panorama Refuge at 2,197 yards above sea level. We start to walk from here, cross over the Denti di Terrarosa Pass, and descend to the village of Sautria. It is also possible to go up by gondola from Siusi village at 1,028 yards above sea level to Campaccio village at 2,023 yards above sea level. But we drive up the steep mountain road in a van. The 2,679 yard high Mount Siciliar catches the eye throughout the 995 yard climb. Germans call this mountain Mount Schwern. We drive up 995-yard altitude and arrive at Compaccio Village. Germans call this town Kompach. We now move to take the lift that goes up to the Panorama Refuge. We take the lift in the village of Compaccio and fly over the meadow. The village itself belongs to the Alp de Siusi, the largest pasture in the Alps. Since this village is in such a high land, they just look like small mounts, even though Punta Santer is 2,639 yards high and the highest peak, Monte Pets, is 2,803 yards high, the sharp peaks of Mount Siciliar. We climb 219 yards of altitude by lift and arrive at the Panorama Refuge. We see people on bikes coming from the Siciliar mountainside. The sharp peaks of Seceda and Odo Mountains are visible on the far left. At 10 o'clock, the majestic Sela Mountains, the highest peak of which is 3,447 yards high, can be seen in the distance. Rising closer are Sasso Lungo of 3,479 yards and Sasso Piatto of 3,232 yards high. From here, we walk through the vast meadows. Alp de Siusi covers an area of 5,600 hectares, the size of 8,000 soccer fields. Looking back after walking for a while, you have already trekked quite a distance. At the three-way fork, we turn right towards the Denti di Terrarosa Pass and the Alp de Tires Refuge and follow Route 2. Wildflowers in full bloom in early July are rustic, but show off their clear colors. A huge meadow that supports the sky and clouds during the day and the moon and stars in the evening. Alp de Siusi is Europe's largest high alpine pasture with its magnificent flowers. All kinds of wildflowers are scattered in the wide meadow, swaying in the wind. The road is quite steep uphill. You hardly feel difficult to walk while admiring the flowers. We walk along the grassy road in full bloom, looking up the clear sky and white clouds.
The Bolzano Refuge, located at the top of Mount Siciliar, 2,679 yards above sea level, stands far in the distance. Someday I wish I could go to that mountain ridge trail. We share the desire. Looking back, even though we have come quite a distance, the pass for us to climb over appears far off. Far away appears Forcella Denti di Terrarosa, the critical section of the day. We must cross over the zigzag pass at 2,668 yards above sea level. Seasonal wildflowers adorn this barren road. Although we have climbed the steep zigzag path quite a bit, we still have a long way to climb. The broken dolomite gravel path is very slippery with a steep slope. The summit comes near over the slope where variety of wildflowers are blooming on the rocky field. Winding that turn, we will be at the top of the hill. Finally, we reach the top of the Denti di Terrarosa Pass. Take the road on the left a bit to get a panoramic view. Below there is a steep cliff, so we need to be careful. Towering peaks nearby are Sasso Lungo and Sasso Piatto. The nearby mountains beyond are the Siciliar Catenaccio Natural Park, we wind the back of Mount Rodertspitz. We walk a high ledge path from where valley paths at the foot of this mountain look like strings. This ledge path is narrow and has a lot of pebbles, so we should be careful not to slip down. Alp de Tires Refuge at 2,548 yards above sea level. In front of the refuge, we can see messages written in stone by trekkers on the grass that climbs up to the 3,283-yard high Mount Anter Moya. Behind the refuge there is a path that leads back down to the Alp de Siusi. We follow the road at the entrance to the refuge. At the fork, we go down in the direction of the Sasso Piatto Refuge. We descend looking at the back of Sasso Lungo, which we saw at 10 o'clock at the start of the trek today. Looking back, Mount Rodartspitz at 2,903 yards and Mount Rodzan at 2,901 yards are moving away. Mount Rodartspitz and Mount Rodzan are now fully visible in the distance.
We go down the mountain. Simple wildflowers and a small church comfort the heavy footsteps. Now Sasso Piatto, with a height of 3,232 yards, came close enough to see its trails. The scene is Sasso Wungo and Sasso Piatto seen on the way back from Saltria village to Compaccio village. Today's trek ends by going down to the village of Siusi through the village of Compaccio.